Being a doctor is one of the toughest jobs considering the responsibilities they have on their shoulders. No matter which fields the doctor belongs to, he has to do his work perfectly well, and even a small mistake can get their license canceled. But once they are so good at what they do that they hardly do anything wrong, doctors can make a lot of money and become millionaires or even billionaires. So in this video, we'll be talking about the richest doctors in the world. Number 10, Ivo Patangi. Dr. Patangi is a doctor on this list who has made money through cosmetic surgeries. And you will be seeing a lot of cosmetic surgeons on this list showing how much money they make. He is a Brazilian plastic surgeon who performs surgeries like facelifts and tummy tucks. Sadly, Dr. Patangi is not among us anymore as he passed away in 2016. But even at the time of his death, he was worth $10 million. Number 9. Dr. Paul Nessif Dr. Paul Nessif is a Lebanese-American celebrity cosmetic surgeon who also appeared on E! Botched with Dr. Terry Dubrow. The show ran for six seasons. He's also appeared in Dr. 90210 and the first three seasons of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. He is known for his expertise in revision rhinoplasty. Dr. Paul Nessif has a total net worth of $16 million. Cha-ching! Number 8. Dr. Michael Sazauer. Dr. Michael Sazauer is a, yes, you guessed it right, a celebrity cosmetic surgeon, and he is one of the most expensive cosmetic surgeons in America. He is also known as Dr. Miami. He was criticized for promoting plastic surgery through a book he wrote for children back in 2008. But celebrities are not satisfied with their natural body features quite often, and they do get some cosmetic surgery done to them, which is something Dr. Michael is great at. The media has also started showing cosmetic surgery in a positive light. Dr. Michael also started his own TV show named Dr. Miami back in 2017, but the show only ran for seven shows. Still, TV shows are not something that made Michael rich. It was cosmetic surgery, and he is one of the best. And yes, about his net worth, well, it's just a little above $25 million. Number seven, Dr. Waffles Wu. Dr. Waffles Wu is probably the richest cosmetic surgeon in Asia, and the reason why he is so much preferred not only in Asia, but also in countries outside Asia is due to his impressive technique. This technique is called Waffles Lift, where no skin is removed at all. He trained as a craniofacial surgeon and works on a principle which is based on four R's, relax, restore, resurface, and redrape. So he restores the volume lost by the face due to aging through artificial fillers and resurfaces the skin envelopes using IPL intense pulsed light, also radio frequency and non-ablative lasers. Many celebrities and rich people prefer him for their cosmetic surgeries. He is worth more than $30 million. Number six, Dr. Terry Dubrow. Remember that doctor from the show Real Housewives of Orange County? Well, that was Dr. Terry Dubrow who made an appearance in that show along with his wife, Heather Dubrow. Dr. Terry Dubrow is a very popular name in the Hollywood industry, and he is not an actor, he is a cosmetic surgeon, and he is one of the best cosmetic surgeons in Orange County. He is really expensive, and still he has many clients on his waiting lists, where clients have to wait for six or even eight months for his appointment. If I had that much money, I wouldn't put plastic in my body. I would put fried chicken on my plate every single day. Anyways, Dr. Dubrow's fame started to grow when he caught the eyes of people at Fox, who approached him for a TV show named The Swan, where he would transform unattractive women into absolute beauties. Therefore, you're not ugly, you're just poor. And yes, Dr. Dubrow is worth over $30 million. Talk about plastic money. Number five, Dr. James Andrews. Here we have the first doctor on this list so far who is not a cosmetic surgeon putting plastic in people's faces to make them look attractive or make them look incredibly ugly if the treatment goes wrong. Dr. Andrews is an orthopedic surgeon 
and he is probably one of the best orthopedic surgeons in the United States. He is the team doctor for the Washington Redskins, and he has helped out some of the most talented and famous athletes in the world with their injuries, which are bound to happen during the career of every athlete. When an athlete goes through an injury or any other fitness issue, he rings Dr. Andrews for a consultation if he can afford it. He's also the team doctor for NCAA teams such as Auburn and Alabama. His famous clients include stars like Michael Jordan, Troy Aikman, and Bo Jackson. His net worth is a whopping $100 million. Number four, Dr. Gary Mickelson. Dr. Gary Mickelson is a billionaire with a net worth of $1.4 billion. Now, any service-based doctor doesn't earn that much money, which is true. Such money can be earned if you are a businessman and have made products sold worldwide. But Dr. Mickelson became a billionaire in a different way. D. Mickelson has over 250 patents, and a big part of his net worth came from the settlement he got after he sued Medtronic over their unpermitted use of his spinal surgery patents several years ago. He got $1.35 billion as a settlement. However, he does not waste his money on luxurious items and spends his money wisely. He is still a very reputable medical researcher. Number three, Dr. Randall Kirk. Dr. Randall Kirk got his doctorate from the University of Virginia. However, he is not a practicing doctor. Instead, he uses his medical degree in his business. He opened his pharmaceutical company in 1984, and that company is making billions of dollars in yearly revenue. His first company was General Injectables and Vaccines. After 14 years, he sold General Injectables and Vaccines and opened New River Pharmaceuticals and King Pharmaceuticals in the meantime. Therefore, he is more of a businessman than a doctor which is why he's worth $2.4 billion. Pharmaceutical companies make crazy money, right? Number two, Dr. Philip Frost. Dr. Frost got his MD from Albert Einstein's College of Medicine. However, he did not practice medicine after getting his doctorate. He initially taught dermatology and then he got a major position at Key Pharmaceuticals, where he used to develop generic brands and veterinary medications. He then decided to found his own company named IVAX. He then sold IVAX for an impressive $8 billion. He is now the chairman of the board of Tiva Pharmaceuticals. Dr. Frost also makes money through investing in stocks. Like Dr. Kirk, Dr. Frost is also worth $2.4 billion. Number one, Dr. Thomas Frist. Dr. Frist is the richest doctor in the world having a net worth of $4 billion. He has a doctorate from Washington University. He worked alongside his father in the late 1960s to found Hospital Corporation of America. He's the company's biggest shareholder, which earns $29.7 billion every year buying and selling hospitals. Hospital Corporation of America aims to make even more revenue considering their big contracts with several other hospitals. That's all for today, buddies. We know that you liked the video, so how about you show that appreciation by smashing the like button. While you're at it, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, press that subscribe button so that you get updated about the amazing content that we post. Till then, see ya.